the mount is a terrible position to be in for the person under, whether there are strikes involved or not. So we have to get out of there. One of the best escapes from the mount is called the UPA, or the trap and roll escape. I'm gonna trap one of my partner's arms and roll my partner in that direction. So if Dave has mounted me, there are a lot of things that he can do to, do, for me here, do to me here, even if there are no strikes involved. He has access to my arms, he has access to my collars. I need to stop that from happening. The first thing I need to do is break his posture. So to make that happen, this is especially true if there are strikes involved, I'm gonna pull one heel in tight to my butt, and as I bridge, my other knee is gonna come into Dave's back, forcing him to post his hands on the mat. I'll show that from another angle at the end of the video. Now, I need to pick a side. The human body's a table. Dave has four posts. He's got two legs and two arms. So if I shove him one direction, very easy for him to post, to shove him another direction. Very common mistake that new people make is they try to throw their partner off. All you do is make yourself tired and give him access to your arms. So, don't do this. It's a weak muscle group against my partner's whole body. Instead, what we're gonna do is we're gonna trap an arm. I'm gonna wave high to the ceiling and go palm to palm with no thumbs. Once I get this grip, I'm gonna pull my elbow in tight to my hip. Now, I don't need to hold this grip forever, but there's still a lot of friction there. Whatever side you've chosen to trap, that's the side we're gonna bridge toward. But if I try to bridge now, Dave still can post his left leg. Now, at that point, I can, ha I can transition to another escape, but let's just try to get the first escape. I'm gonna take my right foot and just gently trap his foot. I'm not trying to pinch or anything here, just trying to stop him from doing what he just did in posting his leg. Last step, I'm gonna take my head off line. When I do this, I'm gonna bridge, coming up to the top, coming up with my hands on my partner. The reason I come up with my hands on my partner is we always want our hands on the mat when we're inside someone's closed guard. Otherwise, they can attack your arms, they can attack your neck, things like that. So it's a good habit to get into. Come up with your hands on top. Another time. My partner's posture is up. I'm not gonna be able to UPA escape them because it's very difficult to trap these arms. So I'm gonna bridge, putting my knee in his butt, forcing him to post his hands on the mat. Sometimes, of course, he'll just post his hands on the mat anyway. I wave hello to the ceiling, go palm to palm, connect my elbow to my hip. Trap his foot. I take my head off line. Now, why do I take my head off line? If I try to roll a lot from here without taking my head off line, a lot of times Dave will do what's called cross posting. He'll take his free hand and post it over there, allowing him to remain on top. But if I take my head off line, now that takes away Dave's angle, so even if he tries to cross post, I'm still gonna be able to come to the top position. There are a lot of different variations on the UPA escape, the trap and roll escape. Sometimes our partner will trap and will, will trap their own arm by either by grabbing our head or grabbing our collar. The mechanic of the position is based on the fact that one of his posts is trapped, either because I trapped it or because he trapped it, and we roll him that way. Last thing for this video, I'm just gonna show the posture break one more time. So if my partner is in the, in the mount, right, I can't trap this arm, it's very difficult. And just me extending arms is very dangerous because it allows Dave to do things like either advance to a higher mount or attack my arms. So one leg comes, uh, one leg posts, and the other leg, I'm gonna put my knee here, and I make him post. That gives me access to his arms where I can do the butt escape. Trap and roll never stops working, works at the highest level, and if you go for it and you don't get it, it also sets up the next escape we'll do, which is the knee elbow.